Hi guys, it's Malu here with Protect TV, and I just want to make a review for you guys on the Cyanogen, Cyanogen Mod 10 build for the HTC One X. This is a uh, custom ROM which allows you to get Jelly Bean. It's basically Jelly Bean for your HTC One X. Uh, you, obviously, for the HTC One X, you're, you're gonna have to have your bootloader unlocked, and you can you can find many videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. But I'll leave a link in the description, and also you have to root your device. So I'll leave another link in the description if you want to go check out uh, that the video to root your One X. I didn't really feel the need to jailbreak my phone and uh, load a custom ROM on there, but I don't know. I really wanted Jelly. I really wanted Jelly Bean, and I don't really like HTC Sense. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you in the video. So let's let's review this ROM. So. First of all, you have, let me show you guys, you have the Jelly Bean or the stock Android uh, unlock screen. So if you hold down the lock, the, you know, the, the lock, it's actually locked. And then you have Google Now, which actually works, uh, the camera, and unlock. So you obviously slide it to the side. So let me just show you guys. Let's go into the camera application. The, ap the camera application works. This ROM, everything works in this ROM. Uh, if you take a uh, photo of something, let's take a photo. I know, let's take a photo of the this iPod. Yes, I still have this iPod. Yeah, it's very fast. There's no shot lag at all, and uh, you can zoom in and everything. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of a weird application. Uh, this camera application, I'm not really used to it. I haven't had a stock Android phone in a while. But uh, it's it's definitely interesting. I actually quite like it. So let's go back to the lock screen, and uh, let's show you Google now. I'm gonna show you Google now right now. And uh, I'm not really a fan of personal voice assistants. Even then, when I had the iPhone, I did not use Siri uh, because I didn't really feel the need to use it. Uh, it's kind of gimmicky, and uh, I don't know. So, you can actually ask, I actually use Google Now a little bit for testing purposes, you know, because I'm going to review this ROM, I obviously want to let you guys know what's going on. So, uh, you know, you unlock, and then you go slide up for Google Now, and then you have the search button, and then you can actually tap this thing. And I have some, uh, I just have one little, uh, what do you call it, uh, card, and it just has the weather. So you can just ask it, what is the weather like in Wetherill Park? my area. It's 19 degrees and mostly cloudy in Wetherill Park. Okay. So, some, uh, in my experience, it speaks back to you for a couple things. Uh, it doesn't really speak back to you for everything, so, you know, you can ask it probably stock prices. What is the stock price for Halliburton? Gives you the stock card right there. Uh, what else? Who was the first man to land, to walk on the moon? Oh, whoops, I should have reworded that. Who was the first man to walk on the moon? It doesn't really tell you. Uh, it doesn't say it back to you, but... Yeah, Google Now is uh, definitely interesting to use. Uh, it's very... Uh, it's very... Uh, useful. It, it it could be useful, I guess. And at the bottom, you have uh, web images, place. If, if you click more, it gives you news. So that's Google now for you. Uh, let's, let me show you the in, uh, interface. Here's the interface. Uh, you can tell right away if you look at my H HTC One X review, which uh, I thank you guys a lot because it got uh, over twelve thousand hits. Uh, that's that's great. That's my Sorry about that, guys. My camera keeps turning off. I'll be getting a new one. Uh, anyway, whoops. If you if you look at my uh, review on the HT, HTC One X and you look at the fluidity of the interface of uh, what do you call it, HTC Sense 4.0, and you compare it to this, this freaking blows it out of the water because Project Butter is very uh, evident in this. When you slide on HTC Sense, you can actually see frame lag, like, for me, I can actually tell, uh, this is, th this is buttery smooth, uh, if you slide it down, there's none of that frame lag, 
it's great. Uh, the camera doesn't do it much justice, but that's very great. That's one of the reasons I got this. It's, it's super fast. It, it it doesn't really it doesn't make this phone lack behind uh, other high-end smartphones. With with the update for uh, if this gets the official update for Jelly Bean, it's gonna be blazing fast. So let's go to the let's go to the uh, settings. So the settings are just the traditional settings. You get Wi-Fi and all this stuff. You get some uh, extra Cygen Mod 10 settings, right? Uh, you got the accounts. Uh, let's go to phone. Then you have the HC One X. Give. They re. Uh, sorry about that. They remap the buttons. And uh, that bar's gone. So this, the old mult this used to be the multitasking button. This is now the set uh, the menu button, and that's great. That's how I wanted it. You hold this down. This is the, you know, the uh, the multitask. And uh, another pro with the thing is that it quickly switches uh, when you're multitasking. If you click on something, it's nearly instant. It's great, it's faster than the HTC Sense, but I do not recommend this mod. Uh, hopefully the, uh, the actual HTC thing comes...